Where you live probably played a big part in how you voted on Austin's urban rail proposal. The city released this color-coded map showing who voted for and against the plan. The areas in orange show where more than half of the voters rejected urban rail. Areas in red had the strongest opposition to the bond plan, mostly on the fringes of town. Looking closer, you can see an area in the center of the map with blue, light blue, and yellow highlights. Those are the voting precincts where the bond passed. Most of those areas are close to that proposed urban rail route. The map is getting attention from some people who came up with the failed proposal. They're looking at changes for the next time Austin voters see an urban rail plan. What I would do is put together a more complete bond proposal that addresses the region's needs more holistically and bring that back to the voters and um, work hard to convince them that it's a good package and, and I'm confident it would pass. As of right now, there is no new plan on the table. More than likely, once a new mayor and city council are elected, a decision will be made on whether to put a new urban rail plan before Austin voters. We wanted to know if the candidates running for mayor would push for another rail plan. Mike Martinez said yes, he would. He sent us a statement saying, quote, as mayor, I'll advocate for a rail system that benefits all Austinites because world-class transit is vital to the future growth of Austin. Steve Adler would not commit to rail. He said, quote, the voters have spoken on Proposition 1, but we still have a traffic crisis that, will be, that we will be expected to solve. We need leaders that can find solutions that work.